Good morning. This is uh, Henry at home. Um, we are going to show you uh, something about uh, our weekly uh, Tai Chi class. Um, we're going to do the Tai Chi practice soon. So um, I just want to show you a piece I did last night uh, to uh, as present, uh, a gift to my teacher. Uh, this is a practice, uh, says, May Guo Chen Shi Tai Ji Chen, Zhao Kui Jia, Lin Tai Fu Hong Xin Ban, meaning American Chen style Tai Chi Chuan, Zhao Kui School, Lin branch teacher uh, whose class. I did uh, a um, logo kind of design with Tai Chi symbol and uh, our grand master Zhao uh, Lin, Lin Zhian from Nanjing. Uh, he has uh, passed in the uh, 80s. So uh, our teacher is a student of Lin Zhian and who is the student of uh, Chen Zhao Kui, very famous uh, master. So we are, the, I think, the 14th generation of the Chen clan. Uh, this is the banner that I'm going to bring uh, to the park we, where we practice, and maybe we have a group picture or something uh, before I send to a gift to the teacher. And uh, I also want to show you some, uh, some uh, pictures I've done. Uh, this one, you can see the logo is a, a Tai Chi kind of a, a posture, a form. Uh, it's uh, one of the series I was working on. I tried to get all the forms done while I studied Tai Chi. Uh, this is how, where I started. Uh, I just want to give you a quick look. Let me focus. Qi Shi, the beginning form. <laughs> it looks like me. <laughs> Peng is a, a movement, uh, where, you know, basic movement. Uh, I marked that this is a, a imperfect uh, post or a painting, tu jiao, uh, meaning the footwork. I have a better one. Okay, this one is uh, li, one of the four. Uh, way to apply, uh, you know, coordinate the, the hands. Manzai is one of the second form, I think, we learned. It's the third kind of a, um, hand movement. And it's the fourth one. Push. G means a, uh, and means a press. G means push. Uh, this is before you, you press. There's another form called the Liu Feng Si Bi. They are all very poetic uh, names. I love it. Liu Feng Si Bi. Qin Gang Dao Dui. 
very characteristic Chen style Tai Chi. Notice the gravity is on my left foot while um, my right foot is uh, raised and bending. And Jing Gao Dao, the preparing um, movement. I did several. This is the, the final position of the Jing Gao Dao, the Buddhist warrior, uh, something Dao Dui. I forgot the English name. Tambien, single whip. This one I remember. I have to learn all this terminology, uh, or the names in English, so I can talk about it in English later. When you start something, you have to learn all the uh, fundamentals, like uh, practice uh, calligraphy strokes. These are the strokes of Tai Chi, I think. So I will, uh, if you're interested, I will show you more when I continue my pursuit in Tai Chi. And uh, let me see if I have a chance to ask Victoria to write uh, something for us. We got four, uh, six people watching. Good morning. Are you ready? Okay, so um, Victoria, let me enlarge it. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, we're not going to grind, we just use uh, bottled ink, just press. Ready? Yeah, you, you, how big do you, you need? Just a small piece? Okay. If small, I will write small. <laughs> yeah, let me move this aside. Here? Yeah. You can also write a big paper underneath it. This book is our uh, teacher's uh, Tai Chi. You want to say hi to them? Oh, how? Where's the sit on you. People will see your face. Oh. Yeah, you can see there. Yeah. <laughs> Just you can see yourself there. So I'm going to concentrate on your hand. Here we go. So what style of uh, calligraphy are you going to do? Uh, grass style, running style. And what are you going to write? Uh, tai Chi, you said you want me to write Oh, yeah, Tai Chi. Uh, right? Yeah, the two... Um, Character meaning supreme ulti, the supreme ultimate. Okay, I'm, great I'm great writing. Okay. Ultimate. Yeah. Okay. The first character is Tai. Tai means the supreme or the ultimate, uh, the great. I like the way you compose it. It's like, a, <laughs> yeah, you, you just uh, listen to the grass. It's a, it's a uh, kind of a hemp paper, I think. Tai Chi. The supreme ultimate, meaning the great balance of yin and yang. You know, uh, the yin means the positive, yang means negative, opposite uh, poles. The supreme ultimate means uh, so that that's um, represented by a symbol 
well-known symbol. Let me do that if I can show you how to write my Tai Chi. So you start from a little yang, and you do a little kind of a, like comma, but upside down. And just continue. So the yang gradually gives to the, uh, I forgot which is yang. The dark is the it's yin, actually. So that, and uh, I think here is the, the beginning of the yang. So we we'll darken that. Familiar with this? This is that tai, tai Chi symbol. So when you do painting or you do anything, you know, uh, it's a play of uh, positive and negative. So when you, uh, according to Lao Tzu, um, count black as white or count white as black, I forgot. You, you squeeze out the, when you do the black, you, you, you also uh, foil out the, the white, right? So Tai Chi is, a, is also, uh, and uh, notice the movement in every stroke, like in Tai Chi, you, you uh, always go to the opposite before you make a move. So you go up before you go down, you go left before you go right. The same thing in, in calligraphy. Um, you always do, you know, have a turn back. Um, so we'll talk about uh, this uh, uh, application of yin yang, you know, in any art, you know, uh, in breathing actually. Inhale, exhale, all that. Um, have a great uh, Sunday. I will see you on Monday. Bye bye now.